Hello, good morning and welcome to my Saturday. I didn't vlog anything yesterday. Guess what? My daughter's back home. Now, a little while ago, a few months ago, I think it was, I came to a decision not to share any more of my daughter's medical things. You know, she gets ill or whatever. I'm not gonna share any details on the channel anymore because patient confidentiality and all that. It was a bit different when we were more of a family vlogging channel. I know it was only a family of two, but we were still a family. And when she was little and, uh, you know, she'd have eczema flare-ups and eye casualty clinic. I don't know, it was all kind of part of our story as a channel, but she's no longer in the channel, so I don't want to share that anymore. This is a bit of a problem for daily vlogging channels. People are accustomed to seeing the full picture of family life on, like, a BBC drama or something like that, or a film, you know, that's scripted. But when it's real, not everybody is signed up for this life, you know. I like to respect the privacy of the people around me. So anyway, I will thank you very much for not asking about it. Um, but yeah, she's home from uni. So I've been pampering <laughs> and bringing her meals and uh, maybe she'll go back after the Easter holidays. Let's see how she is. We don't really know at the moment. But anyway, she's, she said, tell them what you like. <laughs> but this is what I like. This is the level I'm comfortable with. I don't want to divulge any details. Anyway, it's Saturday today. I've been doing Japanese. <laughs> God, I'm laughing, not because I'm laughing at Japanese. My daughter's studying Japanese at uni and she's finding it quite, quite difficult. And I know why now, because I've gone on Duolingo on the iPad and I've been starting by learning the alphabet and I was going through all these, you know, pictograms, you know, write out the little characters. And just learning to recognize them is incredible. And I was thinking, God, there's a lot of these on this page to memorize. And then I realized there were another two alphabet pages, like, <laughs> Okay, this will probably take the rest of my entire natural life just to learn to say the sounds, <laughs> reading the symbols. But anyway, it's very fun. I enjoyed it. It's like a puzzle. I'll have to show you my puzzle. I finished my puzzle. Anyway, I've got a gig today. First gig back in the UK. I don't have many this month, but I have got one tonight, so looking forward to that. Anyway, let's show you this puzzle. <laughs> ridiculous but I did it I did it it wasn't too bad in the end but I won't be rushing to get another one like it I'm glad I've done it I feel proud of myself obligatory puzzle stroke gotta stroke the puzzle I don't know why it's just so satisfying I need to go upstairs and get my shopping vlog up for tomorrow now I did say I was gonna drop an upload a week from this channel and I have but the thing is since I've been back in the UK I've needed to do so much shopping that I've actually had enough vlogs for two a week on the other channel on the shopping with Imo, the shop with Imo channel and I don't know if I'll keep that up I probably won't I probably will just stick to one a week on there but I'm just kind of playing it by ear like if I've got loads of shopping to do I might as well vlog it and pop it up on there because they're so quick and easy to make compared to these ones. I'm gonna go and get to work on that now. That'll probably tie me up for an hour or so. My daughter's actually got a friend coming over to sleep over tonight, which is very, very convenient because they can look after her a bit. <laughs> Help her get food and, you know, if she's feeling poorly, just fetch and carry for her a bit. So, and keep an eye on her for me. So that, that's worked out really well because I am gonna be staying at my other halves tonight and then I'll come back tomorrow first thing. It's about quarter past one now. My daughter's friend is due in 45 minutes and I kind of feel like I need to put the vacuum cleaner around as an act of respect and hospitality. So I will do that. I'm a bit short of time though. I need to, I think I need to go about half three, something like that. I may mean to get to where the bus drops off 45 minutes early because the buses are so unreliable and the person picking me up is going to have the PA, the, all the speakers and everything, which is going to need to be set up. So I can't hold them up. So I'm just going to aim to be early and that will give me 45 minutes of buffer time for the bus to be late or not turn up or me have to get another one, whatever. And the joy is I could probably go to a cafe and enjoy a coffee for three quarters of an hour, which would be absolutely lush and I would genuinely enjoy that. I'm not going to traipse around shops because I'm going to have bags and things. Anyway, I forgot to mention, I had my hair cut yesterday. I know it doesn't look that good. <laughs> My fringe is out of control. I had it cut and I also dyed it blue with the blue hair dye that I got from Wilco ages ago. I just had an urge. I don't know what possessed me. I think it might have been inspired by the dress, dresses, outfits that I bought from the charity shops the other day. I loved that day. Do you know, I think I could make a hobby of just having an afternoon out in a certain area doing all the charity shops in the long street. You know, that was really fun, that was. And you can really pick up some unique items. Well, they're obviously not that unique, but it's not like going to a normal shop, is it, where they're all the same in the row, you know, it's like treasure hunting. Anyway, I'm rambling on. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do vacuuming. <laughs> not that interesting then. Um, we're getting fed tonight, so I don't need to worry about taking any food with me, which is great. I will need to have lunch before I go. 
I should probably show you my outfit. I need to do it in a long mirror though. Actually, no, I'm gonna do this. I think you can probably, I oh, know the sofa's in the way now, hang on then. <laughs> I'll have to zoom in. <laughs> annoying me. Gone. Right, I've hoovered almost the entire house, apart from the bits that my daughter was locked in. Well, not locked in. She was in a bedroom getting dressed, so I didn't go in there. Speaking of clothing, this lot's dry, so I'm going to get that off quick. Because then you see, I can get this area away and we'll have more space in here. tea sorted out then and steeping nicely for a bit oh it's splashed everywhere great need to clean that stove it's not gonna happen today I'm too busy oh it might be helpful put that away in the fridge take two I think I might be starting to look like my mum with this fringe and hair colour just saying hi mum. <laughs> anyway, I have re-evaluated a little after my trip to Lisbon because I just couldn't practice really every day. But I was still playing a lot in the evenings but I wasn't practicing, which is a different thing. But I managed to get away with it to an extent, mainly because it was just so noisy in the environments that I was playing in. So any little, you know, little timing errors or not so good tone, it just it, it wasn't noticeable because it was so covered up. But I did also find that because I hadn't practiced as much, I was fresher and stronger in my playing and more enthusiastic about it. You know, I was looking forward to having a play in the evenings rather than I've been practicing in the day and here's a continuation of that. You know, I kind of started with a fresher momentum. Obviously I can't not practice because my technique will just nosedive and to the point that I wouldn't <laughs> probably even be able to work professionally as a musician anymore. But I think maybe there's a balance like work hard in the week and then the day or two before the gig pull it back a lot or don't do any. But I'm going to do a little warm up today but anyway I'm just going to do a short one like half an hour I think to be fresher for the evening. This is what we were taught, like when we were doing classical training, you rest as much as you can on the day of the gig to be in prime condition for your concert in the evening. Well, I don't do fancy concerts. It's, you know, rambunctious Kayleys. People aren't paying that much attention anyway. Or I do pub gigs, you know, I rarely do anything more prestigious than that these days. Uh, you have in the past done concerts, but not for years. Anyway, I'm gonna just do some technique for half an hour and then I need to sort bedding out and pack very, very, very carefully. I need to sort out bedding for the house guest later. I need to pack my bag very carefully because I haven't done a gig in a while and I've lost something for my gig kit and it's it's not essential. I've lost a battery and a pokey any thingy. <laughs> the pokey any thingy is just like a little prongy pokey stick thing for poking a battery in. And I could easily use any number of other things like, I don't know, a bent paper clip or something. So if I can't find it, I'll, I'll improvise. I found a battery. It's because I rationalised my miking up bag a lot to go to Portugal and just took the very bare bones of it. But I have lots of just in case items that I didn't take. So yeah, I need to recombine those. And I think I might re-rationalise a little anyway because I'm going on public transport for part of the journey today and coming back tomorrow. So it'd be nice not to carry too much weight. And IB, my other half who's doing the PA tonight, he will have a lot of just in case items like spare leads and things. So I don't need to worry quite as much as usual. I've done my little warm up now. I've been rationalising my kit to bring so I haven't got my whole bag. There's all manner of leftover bits and bobs down there. Sleepovery has arrived. I found my pokey any thingy. There it is and there's the battery. If it came back from Portugal like that, I just found it out of rummage. Right, that can go in the bag. I'm just throwing together some food quickly. I'm going to have an Emmental cheese and chilli sauce sandwich. Well, no, not sandwich, toasting. I'll fold that over, believe it or not. And I'm going to eat these last bits of fruit left over from breakfast because that just it looks a little unsightly, shall we say, there. I've been trying to sort of... <laughs> I knew I was going to get around to eating it very soon, so I just left it there. I forgot to butter the outside, but never mind. I'm sure it'll still be fine. If I do it the other way... <laughs> I can catch it as it springs up. Mm. 
I've had this toasty maker for longer than I've had my daughter, so it's probably over 19 years since I got it. It's really good condition. I've, I have looked after it really well. Patient to have it. Oh, the cheese is starting to melt. When the cheese starts to melt, that's when it's ready. In my opinion, it would have been nicer if I'd have buttered the outside than the mind. I'm going to declare that done because I want to crack on. Look how much I squashed that roll down. That was frozen, that roll, because I had it before I went to Portugal and I just dumped them in the freezer when I left. There's my random little lunch. Look, I'm going to have those. I saw them in my gig bag when I was cleaning it out and I thought, mm, I'll have them. And my half banana and a quarter of an apple. I've made it onto the bus. It's raining, of course. Not many people on at the moment, as you can see. A shaky burst. I was trying for ages to get some nice stable shots for you. It wasn't happening and I nearly went flying trying to get off as well. Oh blimey. Anyway, I'm here. Going to a retail park. It's Mertha actually. I'm gonna meet my boyfriend here in about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go to the Costa over in the corner there. I don't think I've got a bit of time so I'm gonna do some editing and uh, drink a decaf coffee. There is an immense queue in here. I've got 45 minutes though, so I'm going to persevere. There are a few seats left, but whether there will be by the time this queue's gone down is another matter, but we'll just see, won't we? Oh dear. Do you know what? I've given up on that queue. I stood there 10 minutes, got I don't know, half an hour left or something. And um, I think I'm gonna be at least another 20 minutes in that queue and then it takes a while to make the drinks. So I thought, I'm gonna be golloping it down and not have any editing time anyway, it's not worth the money. I'll have a quick look in M&S now because they also have a cafe. And if there's no queue, <laughs> unlikely, uh, if there's no queue, I'll get a coffee and do it in there. Otherwise, I'll just have a mooch around the shops, I think, instead, which isn't ideal because I've got every bag, but there we are. I can smell the cafe from here. I'm not actually hungry, fortunately, because I had quite a feast before I left the house. It's not quite as bad in here. Marks and Spencers for the win. I was minutes in that queue. Got myself a cup of tea. I realised I didn't fancy coffee and tea was, well, quite a bit cheaper. Probably only got time for the one cup. But you could squeeze two out of this pot, though. Oh, that's a bit weak. Let's keep that a bit longer. No, why not? <laughs> I was just asking Tony there, if he wants to win the vlog. I've been there before. <laughs> We're having an eventful drive. <laughs> We've got to go back to IB's place because um, the van brakes are making a noise. Right. Like this. <clears throat> oh, hang on, he's going to demonstrate for you. Well, I don't know about you. Really yeah, maybe <laughs> they're, they're just going to go, like a load of springs will fall out and they'll fall off. They're going like this. <clears throat> every time. And, Angry brakes. We can't in all conscience travel onto the gig in case they break. The brakes break and cause a fatal accident. So we're going to have to be a bit late for the gig, but it's okay. I think we could just about do it because we had allowed a lot of buffer time for setting up, which we're now going to be using. <laughs> oh, we're on our way again now. We're in Tony's car now. <laughs> so, anyway, we're all like stressed out. So, Tony's put nice, relaxing, soothing, slow air on for us to try and calm us down. Setting up. Right, feed from the desk to the wallet. I think we're just sandwiches with scoffing and setting up and all sorts of things. I've got to. Salmon and cucumber, that'll do nicely. Soundtrack and the guitar. Blend from Mike. Always good it is. Genius. 
Lap tracks. So we could call this Flying Scotsman. I can't think of an equivalent in South Wales because nothing goes fast, does it, on the road? Although we've got the new Metro. Yeah, that's the thing, that, that more like trams because they don't have any facilities for the passengers, just seats. Ivo is a regular user of the Metro, so they're discussing the tune. And I'm not sure they haven't just written this tune. So men's line hold hands in readiness. Off you go. Well, I'm back anyway, back at my boyfriend's place. Anyway, we had a really, really fun Kaylee. Thank you so much for watching tonight's video. Do feel free to give it a like if you liked it. And here's a playlist of some more videos of mine in case you'd like to watch one of those. Good night.